Another day, another dollar at the depot. And it's raining today. So, I don't know if you guys care to get updates every time we go to Home Depot, but we are getting some paint. Paint, I might be doing the bathroom floors. We're getting a nail gun. talking about getting some sushi before we even finished any kind of work around here. Come on now. Gets, gets to rolling. Roll with it. <laughs> That's my favorite. Wow. Oh. Can't even see on the board. Baseboards. You just got bold there, eh? I to see. It really brights it up. Oh wow. <gasps> Do it all. <laughs> just got paint in my eyeballs. That's not good. Uh oh. You okay? Oh no, you got paint in your eyeballs. No, you can't do the wink. Can you do the wink still? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, oh, that's uh, this girl's a, a hot mess over here. <sighs> You don't even know. Mm. You don't even know. Mm. I bet you are the neighbors think we're crazy. Okay, ready? Is this good? Shit, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Alright, so we had a good day on the bus and now I'll kind of show you what we got done today. Annie started a stenciling project, trial by error. Um, and we got this all painted up. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. Um, it was a bummy day for me. We got some shower studs in. We got our mixer valve supports ready. Alright, so we got Annie here doing some what are you doing? <laughs> yes, we have Annie here doing some stenciling. You guys can see that, yeah. And uh, it's coming along pretty good. We had a couple of, uh, well, Annie, tell us what happened here. What happened? Um, so we were trying to do this last night and it didn't, it didn't, it just didn't turn out. It was bleeding too much. I did, I did it wrong, basically. Um, so now we're doing it again. I think I got the hang of it. It's not perfect. But, um, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> it looks better. Yeah. It's like crooked still, but. It's okay. Pretty cool. I like it. So, uh, this is Annie's uh, art project for the day. Yep. And then, what are we doing after this? Well, are we putting a clear coat over this? I want it to dry first. Yeah, dr after it dries, though. Yeah. And then it'll be done. Boom. Gonna... Hopefully it, like, pops out a little, you know? Like, it glistens. Yeah, I got, like, a semi... <gasps> I got a semi-clear one. I'm working on the pre-pitch for the shower right now. Today is shower day. So I'm going to be doing the mudding for the floor, um, for the shower pan. 
lips. Right now I'm using these. Jordan is just working on something over there. Um, so I'm going to be using these Goof Proof pre-pitch slope thingies. Um, I just found them online. And so what you want to do is um, reverse measure it so you can see that there's a slope. So you measure, you measure it backwards. It has to be half an inch from the drain. And you just cut it with PVC pipe cutters and then you just drill it in. And then after that, I'm going to um, put some tar paper. Actually, I should do that first. Put some tar paper and some chicken coop wire or stucco wiring and then the mud. paper onto the wooden subfloor and then um, up. did we guys show you the finished flooring yet well this is it I use cutting edge stencils for the flooring originally I wanted to do some tiles in that pattern but then it's a little too expensive so then I just did the stencil doing the mudding as you guys saw and it was completely oh wow look how dirty my face is and it was completely wrong it turned out to be way too dry so it was pretty much like sand and so I took all of it out and then I redid it and now it's much better So this is actually supposed to be cured within like one to two hours, but I gonna, I'm going to leave it overnight and then this weekend or maybe tomorrow we're going to come back and do uh, that membrane liner. Super tired today. 